The fairer sex has long been admired for its ability to multitask, but a new generation of women in the Emirates are taking that talent to the extreme, juggling motherhood with becoming entrepreneurs. Lucy Taylor finds out more. Bringing up kids is no mean feat. Ask any parent and they'll tell you children require time, energy and effort. To such an extent that in the past, many mothers saw their careers take a back seat as they focused on family. But a new slew of super mums across the UAE are proving that modern women really can have it all. Today's big business trend, the rise of the mompreneur. Momsook is a community for moms and after we launched the website I remember a lady called me and asked if we can promote her business on the website and the immediate answer was yes why not so we promoted her on social media then the second person third person after three months we have 25 other businesses that we're promoting for free on our social media that's why we launched Mompreneurs Middle East last year, which is a community for mom entrepreneurs to be able to connect, to share their ideas, to become partners. We have a special offers for them. One such entrepreneurial lady is Sharjah-based Farah Rahman, owner and cake designer at the bespoke boutique bakery Little Miss Cupcakes. I started Little Miss Cupcakes back when I was in Toronto um, in 2009 after I finished psychology at University of Toronto. Um, I realized I love baking and my passion really lies in designing beautiful things and I'm very hands-on so this is a perfect combination for me. Another multitasking mum enjoying increasing success in the small business arena is Lismar Hilton, founder of retail brand and workshop provider Nifty Little Things and mother to Levy. Going back into an office job was not an option for me um, because I wanted to be a stay-at-home mom. But at the same time, you do get tired of being <laughs> around diapers and nappies all the time. So um, I'm a very creative person at heart and decided to start doing these, you know, um, plaque boards and wooden signs and stuff. And uh, a lot of my friends just started telling me how great they were and ordering some for themselves that they just gave me the idea to move, in, move into a business. And having felt empowered by her own foray into industry, Lismar is keen to support other mums looking to do the same. I found it very difficult to start a business in Dubai um, because I didn't want to full, full fledged buy you know, a trade license and get an office or anything like that. I wanted to start very small. So we do go through a lot of hurdles and I know that there are a lot of other moms out there that start little businesses. And, and doing you know, the baby bazaars and the little markets aren't enough because sometimes you only break even. Um, so. We all know it's difficult to, you know, launch a website and it's very costly as well. So I want to be able to offer my, you know, my workshops and the website that I'm, I'm currently building uh, to other moms so that they can sell their products as well. It's important to me to help other mompreneurs because I know how hard it is to raise a home, have a <laughs> raise a child and, and a business as well. Ultimately, these feisty female entrepreneurs are keen to encourage the sector as much as possible because, as they're keen to point out, there are benefits not only for them but for the whole country. I think uh, women should really get out there and pursue their dreams and really follow their goals. Uh, they become really great role models for their children and really will help shape the future society in UAE. And although the unenlightened may scoff at mothers' abilities to run a successful business, local mums themselves are keen to prove that they are a force to be reckoned with. If you want to have your own business legally, you need to have office space, you need to have a license, at least in the UAE. So you can't really, like other countries, work from home. So all of these ladies, they have fully functional uh, businesses. They, as I mentioned, they have license, they have offices, they have a team that they work with. Uh, for example, we call them executive mom entrepreneurs. They have a kids venture is a nursery in Ibn Battuta Mall, Big on Children is a store in the Dubai Mall. We have uh, MyList, which is a uh, first online gift registry. So these are all fully functional businesses. And as I mentioned, they really add value uh, to the community and therefore they need support as well. It's very challenging to have two full, jo two full time jobs, being a mother, uh, having your own business as well. It's really tough. As women in the Emirates increasingly seek to develop their own business ideas, the market is both welcoming and supporting them. So move over, gentlemen. The SME sector is becoming a woman's world. This is Lucy Taylor for UAE Weekly.